Hey guys, um, I'm going to try to show you guys how to um, do a um, loop start with an odd number of strands. Please excuse my fingers. I almost <laughs> cringe doing this with my fingers up close, but um, anyway, this is not something that I came up with. Um, there's a, a lady on TikTok that does cross-stitch videos and that's how I found out about it. I think her name is Atom, A-T-O-M, Mom. Um, and there's also a lady here on YouTube that I found that um, does a loop start like this and also finishes off with this same type of loop. Um, I haven't tried that really. You kind of have to think ahead and I can't wrap my brain around it. So I only use it to start my threads. So, um, <clears throat> you know, I've tried pin stitch. I've tried, um, I've, you know, done the traditional, you know, running, leaving a tail on the back and then putting your stitches over it. I can't stand doing that method. Um, and so when I found this, I use this pretty much exclusively unless I'm using, you know, two strands of DMC and, you know, can do a loop start. <clears throat> I mean, sometimes even with DMC, um, I will, if I'm using two strands, I'll do two lengths if I want a longer length of thread. So, um, you can also use this for using um, two strands of fancy floss. When you need to have those strands, you know, laying side by side, you can use this as well. Okay, so on this um, project that I've got going here, um, this is hole number one that I need to go in. And so I do, you know, bottom left, top right, so one, two, and then three, four is how I make my stitch. So for this loop, start, you're going to go into hole four from the top, and you're going to pull and leave um, a tail on the front, and just hold it there with your thumb. And this is the tricky part when you're doing it on a phone. Okay, so now I'm going to come up in hole number four. No, hole number two, sorry. And I'm going to go back down in that same hole, pull it from the back, and I'm going to leave a loop. I don't want to pull it all the way through. I want to leave a loop. So can you see that, that loop? And now I'm going to come up in hole number one from the back, and I'm going to pull, but I'm not going to pull it all the way. And you can just, you know, pull it up and go straight into the loop. Sorry. Um, you know, you can do it either way. So you just pull that loop kind of taut. And sometimes I'll move it out of the way for going back. You're going to go back in that same hole. Just on the side of the loop that you made. And you're going to pull that, that little, um, it's not really a knot, but I guess it is kind of like a knot. It's a little loop. You're going to pull that to the back. And, you know, sometimes I have to pull it kind of taut, you know, kind of tug on it a little bit, but you just don't want it to show on the front. So, um, and I don't remember if the gal on TikTok, I think she cuts her tail here, but I like to do a little extra step. So I'm going to come up in hole number three, and I'm going to go down in hole number four. And you could, you know, from right here, pull on each thread. I'm pulling on the bottom and then pull from the top. What I like to do is come up in my next stitch, where I'm going to start my next stitch. And that way it's on the top and I can, you know, pretty, pretty well um, pull it. So now I've got this little tail. And I'm going to come in here, and it's really hard without glasses and trying to do it through your phone. But just get as close as you can without, you know, um, 
without clipping your, your end of your stitch. You just clip your, um, clip your tail off. And so, you know, if any of it still kind of shows, I'll just sort of work it in with my needle. And then I just go on and, and do my stitches as normal. So this has really been uh, kind of a life changer for me. You know, somebody that hates uh, holding the thread on the back and, you know, doing stitches over it. I just, I just can't stand doing it that way. So, um, and like I said, there is a lady here that will finish off like this. Um, I just usually finish off on the back running my, my threads under, running my needle under some threads and then cutting it. So I hope that helps you guys. If you have any questions, just let me know below and I'll try to answer on a future video. Okay, I hope y'all have a good day. Bye.